What's up guys, this is Square2440 with a Farming Simulator 2017 Lawn Care video and today we will be mowing some residential lawns. We will be using our GMC Sahira Crew Cab to head on over to our shop. Let's start this up and we are heading on over to the new shop that we built for this series and you guys can check out that awesome video on the channel to see how we built this shop but we will make our way on over using this awesome truck and all the mods that were used in this video were converted from FS15 and they will study private for respect from their creators and you guys will be able to see our shop here look at that that very nice green shop here very small and compact but it does house our lawn care equipment we'll uh, pull off to the side of the road here and back on in that way we could uh, pull on out a lot easier We'll park this right outside. Perfect. We'll open up these doors, which are very nice doors. Let's open this up, and we will see out what truck we will be using today. Look at this, guys. We will be using this Chevy 2500 Crew Cab Duramax, and we will also be using this open trailer and the John Deere and X Mark mower. So let's start up the Chevy and get loaded up. And we are heading into the town today, mowing some residential lawns which will be awesome for us we got the trailer attached now we will pull out halfway we won't pull all the way out because we do have room inside the shop to get unloaded but the ramp wasn't down so I just had to jump on and we'll hop on all over this trailer this is a very nice trailer one of my favorite trailers and it actually is kind of new to the game which is awesome we will uh, back on up I think we'll back this up this time and I did extend the ramps on this trailer so that the mowers will be able to go up on it a lot easier but this will definitely fit both mowers and we are changing up instead of using the load trail trailer which we will be getting for this uh, shop here which will be awesome so we'll uh, load this up we'll drive this straight on and we will be using both of these today since we have some pretty large amount of properties we gotta mow which is awesome for us busy day here on the lawn care crew for us and if you do have any cool video ideas for me let me know in the comments I'm always looking to make great videos with your awesome ideas hopefully we do not scratch up our truck there but we did have to pull just into the street a little because we need to lock up our shop we'll close the doors here perfect in this shop here I got on the public farm sim website where you guys can get that hopefully we don't scratch it perfect we cleared that and there is no locking script on this so we do need to drive pretty carefully that way we do not wreck and damage any of our mowers here but this town is actually a pretty good drive I really do like the distance away this is but this trailer I think could also fit a uh, push mower so I think we'll be adding that for the next lawn care video but let me know guys in the comments on what mower you guys would like me to use for the next one which will be awesome we'll jump in the first person here very nice I am liking the tow mirrors a lot I will be getting them to work that way we could have some pretty working awesome mirrors we'll check both ways awesome no traffic we'll stay in this left lane here but we will be getting into the town as soon as possible that way we do not stay on this highway where it's a little dangerous for us since we don't have straps and I did get all the lights on this truck and trailer working which is perfect for us but we will turn here and get over here that way we aren't on the highway and we will be doing some properties today that have a little bit of hills but I think we will be doing a pretty good job overall and the stand on mower is perfect and uh, if we do roll or anything like that, we could always jump off the stand on mower a lot easier, which is perfect. We do want to stay safe, but I don't think we will have any problems with the hills and falling or damaging our mowers. This trailer is a little bit wider than the truck, so we do have to be a little careful on how we maneuver around the town but I think we'll do an overall awesome job now we will be mowing these four houses here to the right and we did use one of these houses as our main house for the camping video you guys did see yesterday so if you haven't seen the camping video I really do recommend it it was an awesome video and it was on a pretty cool edit of this map we'll start up the stand on mower where 
we will use this first and we do have the hazard lights on and a lot of you guys asked me to park on the side of the road instead of in the driveway of one of the customers so that's what we will be doing and we'll start off mowing the smaller property here and uh, we don't want to use a large mower on this one because it's a little too small for it but a crashing into some things I think is not a good thing we don't want to be replacing anything but hopefully we do not hold up any traffic since the game traffic will not go around us so we might need to hop out and move our truck a few times just in case there is a line of traffic we don't want to hold up anybody's day and I will be working on these mowers a little bit more to get the wheels to work and also the tire tracks changed because it's pretty funny guys big uh, tractor tires on the small zero turn mower which isn't too realistic and I really do strive for the realism in all the videos we'll go on over here do the side property now and it's pretty busy here in the town with the traffic which is also pretty cool go around here and there looks to be some flowers and some weeds I would say in this lawn but oh, that's actually pretty realistic I really do like how they have that feature and we will be mowing this and there's a little hill here but I think we will overall do a pretty good job look at how bumpy this ride is just really do like that realism that this brings you with the bumpy ride if you would say whoa we'll switch out and do some third person here and I'm really liking the variety of third and first person videos for you guys but I will be doing a first person challenge so if you do have any cool video ideas for that let me know in the comments I'm always looking to do some very cool videos especially a first person challenge will be awesome to do this is going very well for us we are trying to work on a hill so we do need to be careful but I'm actually uh oh I think that like, they are all avoiding our street which that would be actually very nice if they do because I really don't want to have to remove our pickup truck and keep moving it because we are holding up traffic but I think mowing up and down this hill is the safest thing to do since each mower has a degree limit and I don't want to go past that and potentially flip this awesome mower imagine that guy's barrel rolling down this hill it's not too steep but imagine that that would be pretty bad and uh, pretty dangerous also and it would definitely cause some damage to the mower but we got this house almost done here and I really do enjoy using this map here which I did edit to make this grass mowable because the town grass is not mowable but we will turn up here very good power going up and down these hills very good to know that we could get up and down but once we finish this hill we will definitely switch on over to the John Deere and a lot of you guys whoa a lot of you guys are really liking that I use the John Deere zero turn but we will be using the X mark very soon same with the walker we will continue here very nicely done so far with this mower and this handles very well in this game look at that just going up and down these hills like it's nothing and I'd like to thank you all for the continued support it's awesome making these daily content for you guys here on YouTube it's a lot of fun and I thank you for supporting the channel and we are growing at a pretty awesome rate so I thank you to all those new fans that subscribe and join this awesome community here that we have built but wow this is a lot of houses we have but we will definitely get it done today and you guys really do like the longer videos so this will definitely be one of those which will be awesome for those who really do enjoy them but I think to speed this up we'll make this last pass and switch on over to the John Deere since it is a larger cutting deck and it will greatly help us out so we'll just mow one pass around this house that way we could uh, use the larger mower perfect we'll actually just get this little area I really am liking these walkways that they have and all the detail put into these houses in this game and I will be looking into getting some weed whackers and a possibly a blower which will be perfect look at that awesome detail put into that mailbox there that's awesome so we won't be loading this back up onto the trailer yet we'll just park it on the side here away from the sidewalk that way pedestrians can still walk we'll walk up our trailer here and hop on in and I really do like having the hazard lights on for the realism I think though getting some LED 
lights on this truck would be awesome. Some flashing LED lights, that would be cool. But jumping these curbs, I have noticed that the mowers really do like to bounce when jumping the curb. Which I would say is a pretty almost realistic thing since it's a pretty large curb to get over. And I know that some mowers require like a portable ramp that they come with for. But we'll get on over here and I really don't want to keep going over the uh, sidewalk and the walkways. But we will definitely have to do that just to get this a little bit. Because we are showing some tire tracks and I really don't want to be showing too much tire tracks on the uh, walkways. Because that's not really professional to have a bunch of dirt on the walkways and we do not have a blower yet to blow it off look at that guys so we got this property done these two properties over here now we have two left but I don't think we'll be able to do them all so we will only be doing one more and then we will call it a day but we'll do this one over here since it's a pretty nice one and I did go through and actually take out some of the bushes here on these uh, houses because I felt that there was a little too much and it got in the way of us mowing but I do not want to mow around the house with the chute facing towards the house I don't want to do any grass stains against the foundation with any uh, grass so we will mow so that the grass is throwing away from the house and we just uh, kinda took out the corner of that house there hopefully we don't get any bills for any damages that we caused today that will be not too good for us and I'm always looking to make this series very great so if you do have any cool mods or any ideas for equipment that we could use for these lawn care videos let me know in the comments I am looking into getting some very cool equipment coming for the next lawn care video so stay tuned for that and let me know guys when would you guys like me to do the next lawn care video I've been doing them not really at a schedule like I did for FS15 because I really am trying to make a variety of awesome content for all to enjoy. But this house is almost done so we'll load up and head back to our shop. And then we'll be calling it a day there since a lot of you guys really are liking when we end it there. Which I also really do do like to end it there also. Pretty funny. But uh, almost done. Finishing up the last pass over here. We do have a little bit over here I believe yep just a little bit more so we'll do this a little bit and load up and I really do like the setup we are running today I am a fan of both the enclosed and open trailers so it's very cool how we are using a open trailer today and I really do like it with the sides to make sure that our mowers won't fall out we'll try to go off this curve actually I'm thinking we go down here where the sidewalk meets the uh road that way it's not as big of a bump if I would say we'll back up this little bit but look at all those dirt tracks we made not too realistic hopefully yep it is a little bit of a very high bump there oh it can't make it up because there's a pretty large bump let's try to do it whoa like I said it's a little bouncy when going over curbs and especially getting on the ramp that's going to be perfect there let's see how this one does we will have to back this on up because the front wheels are too small to get up this little bump but that is because we parked a little bit on the curb and I think that that could also be sort of the problem this one actually went pretty well awesome oh no guys we just pushed that mower not that bad of a deal because uh, the sides protected it from falling we'll start up the truck here we'll indicate out and we'll head back to our shop here and I'm really liking this shop but we will be upgrading since we will be getting a lot of new trucks for this lawn care series so if you guys have any cool trucks you guys would like me to look into getting let me know in the comments I'm really looking for some very cool trucks to use for the lawn care series and we did have a very large fleet in FS15 and I hope that we could do that same which would be awesome if we can we'll pull back out onto the highway here and we'll make our way back to the shop but but I think the mowers are almost moving a little actually I don't think they are which is good we can't really have any shifting mowers but I will look into it and see if it's possible to get the straps to show on these mowers I think that will be very helpful and also pretty realistic since some states require you to strap down a load on the trailer while some don't but I think it will be pretty cool we'll make our way back to the shop here 
and uh, really am liking the location. It's a little bit of a drive, which is pretty realistic, but it's not too far of one, which is also nice. And this trailer is pretty nice. It is a little bit longer than the other one that we used to use in FS15, but hopefully we could get that one also converted because it is not as wide, which would be helpful in going in the narrow streets throughout the towns. We'll pull on in and we will be calling it a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.